Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm the International Sales Manager for Sea to Summit. And this job has me traveling quite a bit, both domestically and internationally. I'm almost always living out of a suitcase. So much so that my co-workers back at the office have actually put my face on a milk carton and labeled it as missing. So what I want to share with you is some of the tips and the tricks uh, that allow you to conveniently pack all of your luggage and bring it on board the plane with you so that you can really travel light. So what are the advantages of traveling light? Well, first, you get to travel with a much smaller bag. So that's gonna save you money on checked baggage fees. Secondly, it's much more secure because you'll always have your bag with you when you're traveling. It's also way more convenient. It's so much easier to navigate through busy airports, getting through security, getting in and out of taxis, Ubers, public transportation, anything like that. And probably the most important thing is that there'll be no lost luggage. So how do you travel? I travel uh, with clothes. Through this, we're gonna be great. You need to consider a few things where it is you're traveling to, how long you're gonna be going for, what the weather and the, the temperature are gonna be when you get there. Are you gonna be doing any activities? Okay, so how do you pack for traveling life? I think of things in the systems approach. The first category is gonna be clothing. And clothing has the potential to take up the most space inside of your, your luggage. It's important to get this one right. So in order to do that, I incorporate a few tools. And the first tool I use is a shirt folder. Um, and what a shirt folder really does is it takes those items that would be inside of your closet things that you would hang on a hanger um, and conveniently packs those. First thing you do is open up the wings, take out the stiffened shirt folder board right there, and then you have your pants, which I lay down first, um, and then I use the shirt folder to really easily just fold up my shirts nice and neat, alternating the collars, and then I would just take the, when I'm done, take the pants, fold them back over, put the board back on top, use these compression wings right here, and you pack that. That's two pants, two shirts, and I think of things in threes in that regard, so the third set's gonna be on you. Keeps things looking really good. However it looked when it went in, it's how it's gonna look when it comes out. For items that go inside your drawers, it's really simple. I just use a garment mesh bag, and I roll up my t-shirts, and two pairs of shorts, zip this closed, and this gives it a really good element of organization and also some compression, and it's got a nice mesh top so you can see what's in there, making it easy. Thirdly, I have basically what's known as a packing cell. It's for those odd shaped items like socks and jocks. So you put all those three little categories together and you've nice and conveniently packed all of your clothes. The second category that you need to pack for is toiletries. You're gonna have to um, comply with regulations for carrying liquids on board a plane. I use a TPU pouch that's clear uh, with a zip top. One, it allows it going through security. You can easily just pull this out real quick. Secondly, um, you can see what's inside. Um, and also, if anything did spill inside of here, it's all contained. It doesn't get all over your luggage. Uh, all of these bottles in here essentially are either gonna be under three ounces or 89 mil. That's meant to work with all airline security regulations. For everything else, I just use a real simple toiletry bag. Uh, toothbrushes, deodorants, razors, that kind of thing. That's all personal for you. The third category that you need to consider um, in this modern age is traveling with electronics. If I was traveling for business, um, I'm gonna bring my laptop. I wanna protect my laptop, so I'm gonna put it in uh, a padded laptop pouch. If I was traveling for a holiday, I'd probably just bring a tablet and you can just get a smaller one or something like that for that. It's really the, the cables, the cords, the chargers, the adapters, the USBs, all of those things that are in support of, of the electronics in our lives that you need to consider as well. And so for that, I just use a padded uh, cable cell and that keeps everything nice and organized and protected. Okay, so the fourth category um, is one I like to call activities. For me, um, I've packed to go on a, a business trip to Taipei for a week. Um, I'm gonna wanna do something. I don't wanna walk around or take a run. So I just bring a pair of running shoes um, and then I can conveniently put them away in this shoe bag. Uh, keeps them nice and neat. I'm gonna bring a really lightweight dry bag. In here I'd put running clothes, towel, bathers, anything like that. Roll them up, seal them off put them in my luggage and I don't have to worry about it until I get home. The fifth category is something I call on board. Everything that you would need while you're sitting in that seat for up to 14 hours on the flight. Document pouch and inside I would have a magazine, a neck pillow, eye shades, headphones, adapter taken out of your bag and slid into the, uh, the seat back pouch in front of you. Lastly, it's document organization for me. Inside the travel wallet, it's just a really convenient way for me to organize. I have my cards, I have my money, I have my passport, I have a pen for filling out immigration forms, a coin pouch, um, and then when I get to the destination, I don't really wanna carry this around with me, so I pack a much smaller second wallet that I can take out what I need just for that day and pop it in my pocket and off I go. I travel light because it makes airline travel so much more relaxed. It's easier, more secure, 
costs less, and it allows me to cruise through airport security and public transportation when I get to my destination. What I've just shown you is the modular system I have worked out that allows me to do all of this.